Hello friends, and before we jump into today's video, I'd like to give a very special shout out to a fellow rider in Grab Avengers Telegram chat who goes by the name of Jeff. Today is the 15th of February and I was actually supposed to work a food panda shift this evening, but I realized I was too tired and if I worked this shift, I wouldn't have time to edit the video. Jeff, you legend, took my shift for me. So you're watching today's video because of Jeff. Hello, hello, and good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, my name is Ashley Eats. I film food delivery vlogs on the three major platforms here in Singapore, which would be Food Panda, Deliveroo, and Grab. And before we start the video, I just wanted to wish everyone a happy Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year. Sing and Kwila, Kung Si Fa Tai. And uh, today is day one of CNY. And uh, we are on a shift in the morning that is running from 10.45 to 3.45pm but actually the time now is 10.19. I went online at uh, 10.15 so that we could squeeze a few more orders in. So actually right now we are on the way to pick up our first two orders. It's from McDonald's, Aukang Avenue 8. I am pleasantly surprised that these double orders came in so quickly. I think I went online and like within a minute or less than a minute these two orders came in. So I headed out of my house. I always go online at my house and like just see if any orders come in so that I don't have to go out quote unquote unnecessarily. If you, if you know what I mean. And unfortunately, just at that traffic light there, I got a notification which I'll put up on the screen saying that delivery cancelled. But after refreshing the app, I'm still being told to go to um, the McDonald's. So I think that one of the orders are cancelled. I do hope it's the further distance one. Um, I saw one of the orders was going to Yojukang Road, which is pretty far. And I don't really want to be doing that. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Let's head over to Aukang Avenue 8 McDonald's and I'll see you guys when we reach. Alright guys, here's the deal. We went in there and it's uh, quite a mess. I think McDonald's is overwhelmed with orders right now. So, I was right. One of the deliveries got cancelled, but we did get an add-on which I'll show on the screen. So, it's back to a double. So, we went from a double and it went back down to a single and then now we're back on a double. But I do foresee that we're going to have quite a long waiting time here at McDonald's. Yeah, let's see how it goes. I think McDonald's is one of the few vendors that are open on CNY Day 1. So we're just going to take what we get and uh, try and see how many deliveries we can complete and of course see how much we can earn in this shift. So I'll bring you guys back when we collect the orders and I'll let you guys know how long we waited as well. Alright, see you in a bit. RH6W, not yet right? Okay. Alright guys, we have one order picked up and one more to go. So what I'm doing now is just to pack the items first so that it doesn't take up space at the counter. There really are a lot of orders flowing out. Thankfully we have a very experienced McDonald's staff, she's always there. And uh, the riders all know her, she's really good at what she does. So I'm confident we don't have too long a wait, but uh, yeah, we, we'll see how it goes. Too bad, eh? Thank you Thank you. Thank you very much, Mmm. <laughs> Alright guys, we waited a total... I think all in all we spent about 40 minutes here waiting, if, if I'm not wrong. But I think... It is what it is. It is McDonald's and it is a holiday season. I'm just going to try and figure out how to place all these items in. Okay. And I'm going to have to put like the items on top of each other. 
not to worry, we will double check what item belongs to what order at the end when we're dropping things off. Let's be on our way first. Okay. First order is a cash order. We're going to Alkang Street 52, so that's just right behind us. Alright guys, so um, the time now is 11 o'clock and if you remember, we came online at 10.15 and then I reached McDonald's before 10.30 and when I collected the first order, I looked at the time, it was 10.34 and just now when we took the second order and put it in our bag, it was 10.57 so that is about going close to half an hour so basically, we spent the first 45 minutes of our shift uh, trying to get this McDonald's order which is pretty unfortunate Could have uh, been spending that time doing other orders but it is what it is I'm not about to cancel and uh, kind of like ruin my acceptance rate So if you guys, uh, actually you guys don't know but there was one time I was doing a weekday shift on Food Panda. Yeah, so there was once I was doing a weekday evening shift on Food Panda. And um, I received two McDonald's orders. And I waited like over an hour for them. And I got so frustrated that I decided to reassign the orders. And it was a double order as well. So you guys, you Panda riders, you guys know how that will affect your acceptance rate and such. So that really screwed me over and like I the following weekend shift or that it was a Thursday or something I think so for Saturday and Sunday I made sure I accepted every single order and did every single order to get my acceptance rate back up so that I would be qualified for the weekend incentive so yeah those that, that is the pain of being a delivery rider and when you get orders where you have to wait for really long it, it is really, it really is a pain. And if you're wondering what is that black thing that's coming at the top of your screen, that is my helmet visor. I do apologize. I have to look down to my phone and uh, if the visor comes in, yeah, I can't really help it. Hello. Okay, wait one moment. Huh? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, very nice. Customer gave me a two dollar tip, so we're grateful for that. Now we need to go over to the Florence Residences at Alkang Avenue Two. Um, it's quite a ride over, and there is like zero connection in that um, condo, uh, so I may not film, but I'll bring you guys back at the next order, or if I do film, you'll see the drop off. All right, catch you guys in a bit. Alright, we are here at the Florence Residences. This is one of the condos that does allow us to ride in, so that is definitely a plus point. Other than the fact that the basement car park doesn't have any connection. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Um, I still haven't been here enough to know where the blocks are. So we're gonna find our way. And one thing about this condo is that their signs are not fully up yet. Congrats to us, we didn't spill the drinks. Jeez, this freaking lift smells of garbage, my god. Okay, let's go drop this off. Hello. Careful, take the drink first. Okay, let's let my finger come out. Huh? Come, you hold like this. Yes, okay, thank you. 
Okay. We've got another one which I'm going to show you all. Not too bad. It's paying $9.68. What? <laughs> Okay, we're going to Pizza Hut, and then we're going to drop it off at Hokkang Avenue 5, which is pretty near. I am pretty surprised that uh, it's paying that high, but I'm not complaining for sure. I'm going to see you guys when uh, we're reaching Pizza Hut, so I'll see you on a bit. Alright guys, we literally just pulled up. Let's go and see if the order is ready. Oh my god. This is a huge ass delivery. Okay. This is a huge ass order, which I don't know how I'm going to situate in my bag <coughs> crow okay i'm guessing that's the max we can go and the rest i am going to have to hang on my handlebar now i know i said that uh, i do not like putting things on my handlebar but i think this is an exception we can all accept okay I managed to squeeze the last of the pizzas in, so only this little box is going on the handlebar. Okay, we're gonna get on our way, and we have about 1.8 km to go. My bag is incredibly full, and I'm gonna be pretty careful as we go along, just to make sure that we don't uh, damage anything. Yeah, let's get going. So it would appear that there are still orders during Chinese New Year. We just need to find them. <laughs> and actually, um, these orders are coming from all around my area. It's not even like I have to go out of my way to get to these orders. Alright, we had to stop to adjust our delivery box, but we're back on the road. So I guess you could say that during Chinese New Year, there still will be orders. But there will be two cons. One, it will be very big orders because people are ordering for an entire family or friends. And two, there will be very much long waiting times. Um, thankfully for this Pizza Hut order, it was ready already. But I can foresee that if you go to McDonald's or fast food restaurants or maybe even Zizha stores that are open it's going to take a while because people are mass ordering for a lot of people and the stores you know all the demand is going to these stores who are open so yeah there will be orders during CNY but you really got to be patient and uh, manage your own expectations okay we are here and we need to figure out a way to take out all of these and uh, deliver it safely to our customer oh shit i forgot goodness me i forgot about these up here okay they look fine yeah it's fine okay give me one moment i get the customer for you Uh, hello. Pizza Hut gave me the wrong order, so they're on the line. They're gonna explain to you. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Hello, is it Yes. Yeah, maybe I'm going to Pizza Hut. Yes. But we are going, but we are rushing to go elsewhere already. Ma'am, around 
No problem. Have a good day. Okay. Wow. I'm not too sure what's going to happen, but I do hope that Pizza Hut resolves it. I'm going to do the order as dropped off um, and let Pizza Hut settle it. So if you guys didn't hear on the audio, um, basically they passed me the wrong order. Um, I think it's my fault. I didn't check as well. Um, and to rectify the issue, Pizza Hut is going to send their own personal rider to send the correct order as well as take back the wrong order. So that's what's going to happen. We indicated that as dropped off and uh, we're going to wait for another one. So I'm going to see you guys when we get another order. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Ciao. Hey, welcome back. This is order number four that we're going to pick up. If you remember, we completed two from McDonald's. Then the Pizza Hut one, which I hope they have resolved. And now we're moving on to CT, which is number four. Okay guys, we are going to a drop-off location that is directly opposite CT. So actually, if the customer wanted to come down and buy the food over the counter, they could have done that, but uh, they didn't, and I'm being paid like nine plus dollars to deliver it. So I'm definitely not complaining. This is probably one of the best orders <laughs> in terms of how much it's paying out and uh, distance. I think this should be a block, if I'm not wrong. Okay, that was probably one of the shortest distances I've ever had to right to deliver a uh, order. I think that was like what? Less than 500 meters. So right now we are at, I think it's four deliveries done, $26.92. We can just say 27. And we went online at 10.15, now it's 12.10, so that's about 2 hours. So, that is a pretty high rate to be at. Let's say I do a quick maths, uh, 26.92, find the 2 hours, we're, putting, we're being paid 13.46 per hour. So I would say that's pretty good. And we are getting a new one already. Let's see, Long John Silvers going to Alkang Street 51, paying 9.50, yes sir. I'm gonna see you guys at Long John Silvers, catch you on a bit. Alright ladies and gents, we got that picked up. I think personally for me, um, being a food panda rider during this season, waiting times are expected to be incredibly long. Uh, just because, you know, there are many many orders going through and limited manpower at the outlets. So I understand. And the way I look at things, I take it as a chance to clock my special hours. If you guys know about food panda and the way it uh, calculates, calculates the batch for each rider. Uh, special hours is a thing. So I take it as a way to clock special hours and, uh, you know, just have a chill shift. Try not to have any expectations, just do the work. If it takes a long time to get prepared, then it is what it is, right? It's literally CNY period. And uh, we really can't expect very fast turnaround times for the food and all this. This is order number five, and with the amount that is being paid about 9 bucks, I don't mind waiting at all. I mean, um, I shared with you guys earlier, we're being paid about 13 plus an hour for the first two hours of this shift. And time now is 12.32, we're working until 3.45. So we've got about 3 hours, 15 minutes more. And really, I don't have any uh, expectations. I'm just going to be chill. I'm just going to do the work and see how it goes. As for our drop off, we had 1.4 km to go. So I'm gonna see you guys when we are closer to the customer. Alright, catch you in a bit.
Hello. Oh. oh. Take a drink. Happy New Year. Thank you. Next order is in from Pizza Hut Abang Green and dropping directly opposite. Um, yeah, so far so good. The fees per order have been really really high. So as I mentioned, I don't mind um, the long wait times because the orders are paying out a little bit more. And yeah, let's keep going. I'll see you guys at Pizza Hut. Alright, <clears throat> another incredibly huge Pizza Hut order. The good news is, it's delivering directly across there. So, that's gonna work in our favor. And check out this Orca. I'm pretty sure that this is an 80 liter bag. Absolutely gigantic. Pretty amazing. <laughs> okay, come. Get in there. Okay. Literally opposite me. And it's paying like what? Nine bucks. Amazing. Oh my god. So freaking heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's literally this block 564. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ah. And we are at Six deliveries, forty-five dollars fifty cents. That is pretty amazing. Time now is twelve fifty-two, coming one p.m. I'm gonna bring you guys back when I get another order. So I'll see you guys in a bit. We got another order. I think we waited about ten minutes or so for that, maybe fifteen. This order number seven. We're back at Long John Silver's, and uh, grab, 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 grab. Okay, lucky for us, it is ready and we're going to Upper Serangoon Crescent. Pretty nearby, so I'm good with that. Alright friends, we are back on the road. Lucky for us that Long John Silver's order was ready. And we're going to 473 Delta Upper Serangoon Road. Upper Serangoon Crescent, sorry. And uh, this is order number 7, I believe. Paying about 8 bucks or so. So I think the fare is uh, dipping slightly, but that's okay. As mentioned, I'm uh, doing this shift without any expectations really and we're just gonna see how things go and we just take it one step at a time so time now is uh, 108 so yeah we have about 2 hours 38 minutes or 45 minutes or so to the end of this shift and then our next shift is gonna start at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna come out early at 5 30 but we'll see so yeah we don't have far to our customer about three minutes left so uh, We'll put on some tunes and let's enjoy the ride. Thank you. 
Alright, and this is a cash order, so we gotta collect cash. Hello. Hi, this is your food panda rider. I'm outside your door. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hello. Hello. Total is 2490, yeah? Okay. Okay, sure. 25, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay. That, <clears throat> that worked out. Let's see if we get any more. Yes, we're getting from 476 Delta. Uh, nutritious, nutritious soup. And then we're going towards Aukang Avenue 8 to drop it off, but not exactly Aukang Avenue 8. We'll take it, if I can find which way I came. Yeah, let's go opposite to get some beauty nutritious soup, and uh, I'll see you guys at the shop. Uh, San Jioling. Thank you. Okay guys, so we pick that up. And I just wanted to show you what an LTA camera looks like. It looks like that. Let me see, let me turn. There you go. That is what an LTA camera looks like. And uh, there really isn't any road that can that you can ride in to access this uh, small coffee shop. So I parked up over here and I walked my way in. So now we're walking our way out. Let's get it packed. Apologies for this order, I forgot to screenshot the acceptance card, so you guys won't get to see that, but just for this order, I think future orders I'll remember. I'm a little bit afraid for the soup. I think we clipped it up real good. Alright guys, for our customer, I think we're heading back towards Aukang 351, which is near the Pizza Hut that we collected from. Uh, it's going to be a pretty long ride, so I may not film the whole thing. But uh, maybe here are my thoughts on the shift so far. So we are working from 10.15am to 3.45. That's like, let me do some quick maths, yeah? That will be about five and a half hours of working on Food Panda. I think we are maybe eight or nine orders in, last I checked. So I would say that is um, not as good as you would want things to be, but on the flip side, we are getting paid pretty high for all of these orders. So, I mean, I really don't have much to uh, say about that. I think our hourly rate is going to be pretty decent considering that the past few orders have been paying 8 to $9 consistently. So I'm happy with that. And uh, as I mentioned, I don't want to have any expectations at all. I just want to do this shift, clock my special hours and earn whatever money I can. And, if you, and as you guys notice, um, all the orders that we have completed is within the Aukang area. I'm still very close to home. We have not gone out of the Aukang area yet. So that's really, is honestly, apart from the number of orders that were completed, this has been a pretty enjoyable and decent shift so far. So yeah, can't complain, uh, let's keep pushing on and I'll see you guys at the customer. Alright guys, it's the moment of truth. Did the soup survive? Oh hell yeah it did. Oh hell yeah. Good job me. Hooking it up was a good idea so it didn't move around so much. Hmm. I don't like the way it's positioned. Alright guys, we reposition the soup so that it's nice and balanced. This is the same block where we dropped off one of the orders. So, let's keep going. Hello. Happy New Year. Okay, let's do a quick check on the progress we've made. We are now 8 deliveries in and we are at $61.89. That's paying about $7.70 per order. And if we started at 10 15 I would say this is about 3.5 hours. We're being paid about $17 per hour. 
So that is actually really, really, really decent. Pretty happy with that. All right, I'm going to wait for my next order and I'll catch you guys at the next restaurant or wherever it may be. See you in a bit. Uh, Food Panda 1465. <laughs> okay. Are you able to split or do you want me to split or half? Mm, maybe we split into half, two bags will be good. Yeah. No problem. Actually bro, I think like this can already. This one you just tie up. Yeah, because it can fit in my bag. Yeah, no problem. Thanks bro. Okay. Very helpful stuff over there, but we do have a gigantic order from Jinja Chicken. So really, when you are doing um, food delivery in the festive season, you have to be prepared for gigantic orders because people are ordering not just for their family, it could be for two families worth of food, you know? So yeah, definitely have to be prepared for that. And uh, as you can see, this one giant bag is going to go there and the rest will have to go onto my handlebar. Alright, and thankfully we are not going far. Looks like we are only going 2 minutes away. Amazing. Let's be on our way. I think we will be alright. Yeah, which block? Uh, block 63. <sighs> Thank you. 63 left or right? Ah. Beside here. Okay. We go down there, take lift down level one. Come out, we can see 59613. Okay, so follow this path, huh? Ah, this path. Okay, this thank you. Huh? Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm supposed to find a lift and go down to level one. And from there I should be able to see 59, then 61, 63. I'm going to follow the guard's instruction. Not too familiar with this condo. Let's go get this dropped off. Uh, level 3 please. Level 3. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay guys, uh, we have another order coming in from 275 Delta Compassville Link, that's just further up the road. And it's picking up from an a Indian restaurant. And as for the drop-off, it's going back to Akang 351, which is closer to home. I went to the wrong floor. Um, but yeah, we're happy with that. We've accepted it and I'll see you guys at the restaurant. Okay guys, picked up that uh, Indian cuisine order and we are now heading over to our country 51 to drop it off. As of right now, this will be order number 10 and uh, I did remember to screenshot the acceptance card this time round. So far so good, this CNY shift has been going great for me. 10 orders in, or at least we are delivering order number 10 and uh, I think we're going to do pretty well for an hourly rate. I think it's probably going to be about $15 an hour. I hope so. Uh, mainly the reason why I say that is because um, these orders have been paying quite high. Uh, like $7, $8 and above. So I think we'll be fine even though sometimes we have long waiting times and stuff like that. I think we'll be fine. So we have uh, about 4 minutes to reach our customer. And I'll let you guys enjoy this ride.
Alright guys, I noticed there's something wrong with the color on the camera. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm still going to film the drop off and all. But if it has a blue tint to the screen, I do apologize. I'll try and figure it out and like get it resolved ASAP. Alright, we're getting another order, which is from our notes fried chicken. So, we're going to head over there and I'm going to see you guys at the restaurant. 4189. 4189. Benda. Thank you. Thank you. Okay guys, we picked up that Arnold's fried chicken order. I think I may have fixed the issue of uh, the camera having a blue tint. But now I kind of feel like the camera is too dark. I really don't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head over to the customer and I'm gonna see you guys when I reach. Okay guys, here we are. We are dropping off order number 11. Beautiful. And chances are, we probably won't be able to film the evening shift because I guess I won't be able to charge up my batteries in time but I'll be sure to give you the results for this entire CN CNY day one. Uh, tomorrow I'm working from like I think 10-ish in the morning till 5.30 afternoon so we'll see as Oh, thank you. <laughs> My first ang pao of today. Very nice. But okay, as I was saying, I will be working tomorrow. Let me just do a quick check for you. And it will be from 10 in the morning to 5.30 in the afternoon. So, if I start at 9.30, that's about 7 hours and 45 minutes of work. About 8 hours. So, it, it will be a full day shift. Okay, for now, we're going to wait for another order to come in and then I'll see you guys real soon, alright? Okay, ladies and gents, we have picked up order number 12 and we are unfortunately sending it into Serangoon North. Avenue 4 so uh, yeah not the best not the best definitely but we'll do it we'll live with it okay so with the way things have been going today I'm pretty okay with it. Uh, we're sending order number 12. Pretty decent. Definitely not as much as what we'll get on a normal weekend, I guess. Um, actually, I forgot how many hours this shift is. Let me think. 5 hours and 45 minutes. So, if the average is about 2 to 3 per hour, that's about 15 or so orders that we should be getting done. Um, the time now is 2.54. And we're sending order number 12. So yeah, I think I'm sa it's safe to say that uh, we are doing a fewer orders than we would on a normal weekend. But uh, I think we're going to have to look at the payout and the hourly rate. I think usually for a weekend, my hourly rate can be $15 to $18 or so. So we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Again, like I said, I'm approaching this... Uh, CNY weekend with no expectations at all. This is my very first CNY working and um, yeah even if we don't get to complete as many orders um, I'm still clocking my special hours to maintain my batch 2 which is pretty important to me because uh, for my weekends I need to earn quite a bit in order to fulfill my goal of taking away a thousand dollars every month to put into savings. So yeah, we're still having that goal in my in our heads, keeping that in mind and being disciplined to follow it. 
So yeah, we're just pulling up to our customer and let's go drop this off. Okay. Oh man. It's asking me to go to Serangoon North. I mean Serangoon Gardens to pick up Sri Sun and drop off at Serangoon North Avenue 1. Total time it will take is 20 minutes. Paying $8 for cent. Oh else, I guess we'll do it. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys when we reach the restaurant. Alright guys, we are pulling up to Serangoon Gardens Sri Sun Express. We're gonna find a place to park up. And then we'll do a quick run in to uh, check on the orders. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, the restaurant, I don't even think they've started preparing the orders, so we're gonna have to wait and uh, I'll bring you guys back when we have them on us. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, actually that wait wasn't too bad. It was maybe 10 minutes or so and we've gotten it. The time now is 3.20, so I think by the time we send these two orders, uh, it should be around 3.45 and we should be able to head home from there. Let's jump back on the road and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more. And actually the route that the map is sending me is cutting through uh, sort of like an enclosed estate where you have gantries. I'm not too sure if I'll call it a condominium or like a private estate. Yeah, I'm not sure, but we're going to be cutting through that. It's like a shortcut to get back into Serangoon North. And then the first drop-off will be at Serangoon North Avenue 1, Block 121 if I'm not wrong. So that's where we're headed over. I am... Uh, the last I checked, for 12 orders, I think, we were close to like 90 plus dollars as well. And I was talking to a rider at uh, Sri Sun and he mentioned that there's a special incentive uh, which pays out more for certain timings on Food Panda, which I had totally forgotten about. So I guess that explains why we're being paid like 8 and $9 plus 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 uh, for these orders. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's keep going for now. And this is the private estate that I was talking about. We're just going to cut through it. Okay, we have arrived. My battery actually cut off uh, because it was too low. So we're dropping off 775 first. Now we're going to head over to 108 Serangoon North Avenue 1 and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we have just reached and the time now is uh, 3.34 so we may be able to squeeze in one more order before we call it a day. Uh, I really hope we don't eat too much into our rest time. Uh, I think we'll just come out at 6. We may or may not start early at 5.30, we'll see. But I do know we won't be filming that shift so I can be a little bit more focused. Um, if I do want to film like full day shifts, I will need more SD cards and more batteries. Uh, which I'm not prepared to spend that type of money right now, so we'll have to see. But yeah, let's go drop order number 14 off. Should be this one right here. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Oh no. I know you guys heard me go oh no, but 
uh, after I saw the price, I'm like, okay, I'm willing to do it. So we're basically going, going to Serangoon North, um, each a cup. And then we're dropping off also in Serangoon North, but also further at Walmer Drive, which is pretty far away. It's into Serangoon Gardens. But it's paying out $15.26, so I think we'll be good with that. Accept order. And uh, I'll see you guys at Ija Cup. Hello. Yeah. Okay, I have uh, 1535 and 1536. Store is still preparing. The time now is 3.41 p.m. And uh, yeah, we're gonna eat into our rest time, so we'll see what time we end, and then uh, we'll head home, rest up, freshen up, and then head out for the evening shift. Thank you. Alright guys, we have 13 drinks to deliver, which is pretty mad, but these two orders will be the end of the breakfast and lunch shift. Hopefully, I can still have some time to head home and rest before we head out again at 6pm. Time now is 3.51 I think. We are eating a little bit into our rest time but it is what it is food panda will never fail to do this to us Ugh. damn these drinks are heavy okay three five and this is the one with six drinks Hello. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so we have about 1.8 km to the last order of today, which is uh, order number 16, I believe. And I'll see you guys when we're reaching. So catch you in a bit. Alright guys, we are here. Let's get this unpacked. Okay, I'll stop it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Careful, uh, let's go from here. Okay, thanks. Over here. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you, Thank you for your tip also. Thanks. Okay guys, let's head back home. Successfully dropped off orders 15 and 16. And the time now is 4.06. So we are like um, 21 minutes past our shift. Okay, let me just key my address into Google and we'll see how to head home. So apparently we are about 4 to 5 km away from home and uh, yeah, I'm gonna up the power assist to 3 and like gun my way home because I do want to charge up my equipment for tomorrow, get some uh, water, refresh myself before we come out again at 6pm. So um, I probably won't be filming the end of this shift, I mean I probably won't be filming the nighttime shift which is 6 to 9.30 but I will film again at night tonight and I'll tell you exactly how much we earned and how much we made for CNY Day 1. Alright, so I'll catch you guys in a bit. Thank you for following along um, and I'll see you at the later part of this video. Peace! Alright guys, we are back. Pardon my very ugly hair because it was up in a balaclava the whole day. But I'm gonna go through a summary for you guys on our CNY Day 1 our orders as well as our earnings. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so we completed a total of 28 deliveries and for the morning session, we completed 16 deliveries. 
that was pretty good um, although it did eat into a little bit of our rest time but we still had a solid one hour to rest that was pretty good and um, for the evening session which I started at 5 30 all the way to 9 30 so a solid four hours we got in a decent 12 orders which is very impressive and I'm gonna show you the summary right there so you have 28 deliveries completed on February 10 and we earned a total of $231.24 So Food Panda says that we have been online for 10 hours So actually puts there 9 hours 54 minutes but I'll round it up to 10 hours And the hourly rate they're giving us is $23.36 Which is pretty fantastic As you can see our base earnings were $226.24 And we got a $5 tip as well So thank you to the customers who tipped me Alright I'm gonna do a calculation to find out how much we were paid per order. So give me one sec. We were being paid on average $8.25 per order. So that is very, very high. That is very, very good. So that is my CNY day one. I'm gonna be filming tomorrow, which is CNY day two. And for tomorrow, my shift starts from 10 a.m. all the way to 5.30. But I will start 30 minutes earlier at 9.30. That will give us a grand total of 8 hours work. So for the Food Panda incentive, I'm hoping to hit maybe 30 or 40 orders. I'm more looking towards 40 orders. And for 40 orders, we're going to get an extra 69 bucks. I hope you guys can see. If we hit 50 and get 98, that's a plus. But honestly, I think that... The waiting time is going to be long like today and I'm just going to do the shift with no expectations at all. So basically I'm just going to go in there, see how it goes, take my time, you know, and just enjoy this CNY shift. I thoroughly enjoyed my two shifts today. Um, it's about 10 hours of work, almost a full day shift. Um, but yeah. It was thoroughly enjoyable. I enjoyed myself and I'm very happy with today's earnings as well. So thank you for following along guys. Help me to like the video, share it with your friends and fellow riders. And of course, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because I post weekly every Sunday at 8pm. So you want to make sure you don't miss any of my posts. I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.